So Shan Chan wasn't able to find anything that she liked at the Jock Tank. We decided to walk a little bit longer and came across a Planet Hollywood place. Uh, we've only eaten here once before when we were in Vegas. This place is way bigger. But considering we're in uh, Disney Springs right now, very reasonably priced. Uh, there were only a few things on the menu that were over $20. So, pretty happy about that. We just placed our order. While we're waiting for the food, I wanted to come in here and film some of the cool props that they have in here. Uh, that's a... Uh, Cage. Nice. A 
see what else we can find in here. Alright, here's a Adam Sandler's jersey from Happy Gilmore. Chan Chan loves that movie, so I better get that one. Oh, Tales from the Crypt. That's another thing that Chan Chan really likes. Let's get a better shot of this guy. I'm going up the stairwell here to the fourth floor at this point. We've got Freddy Krueger, another one that Shan Chan will really like. And the sword from Flash Gordon. Oh, I love Flash Gordon. Oh, the only cypher was alive to see this video. Uniform from G.I. Joe, I love both of those movies. The Sopranos, never saw it. Viewers, please don't kill me. Child's Play. The original Degrassi, apparently. And we got even more over here. Oh, we got tables here. Everything in here is from the original Star Trek. That is cool. People actually get to eat on that. Here, another Star Trek uniform of some kind. It doesn't appear to me that it's from the original series. Will Smith's outfit from Independence Day. And his girlfriend's outfit from Independence Day. Supposedly Ernie Hudson's jumpsuit. Again, I have my doubts about this one. In the magazine, in one of the tables with the Ghostbusters. James, I hope you're watching this. Over here. Um, not familiar with this one. If anybody knows what this is from, this is from Fill Me In. It doesn't say. Oh, okay. Um, Independence Day, apparently. This is all Independence Day stuff. From little miniatures and explosion, perhaps. Yeah. 
couple here at the bottom of the stairs that I really wanted to get. We got the uh, original Enterprise over here. Uh, a Chewy outfit that looks pretty good. Over here we have Superman. Uh, from Christopher Reeve. Again, I have my doubts about that one as well. On the other side here, we've got Daredevil from Netflix. I'm a huge fan of that show. Uh, such a big fan that I actually own this app. And it looks pretty much identical to this And this one is probably my favorite from everything that I've seen in here. Arnold from Terminator 2. It's obviously just a mannequin, but uh, the detail here is really cool. With uh, the endoskeleton coming through and his leg and his missing arm. How beat up the jacket is. I mean, this thing is just cool. T2 is one of my favorite movies. And then over here, we've got uh, Tobey Maguire's outfit from Spider-Man 3. I consider the Spider-Man movies to be kind of a a pioneer in the comic book movie industry. Most people just laughed at comic book movies before these came along. I know Spider-Man 3 wasn't horribly popular, but the original Spider-Man, I will never forget the first time I saw a preview for that movie and watching Spider-Man swing through the streets of New York. It gave me chills. And now that's pretty much commonplace, thanks to uh, Marvel. But uh, these movies kind of started that whole thing, in my opinion.